Hello my beautiful babes. So you're probably here for a tutorial on this gorgeous summer hairstyle or maybe you just missing my beautiful face. Oh, it's okay, I miss you too. But something is telling me to go with option A, you know, the hair tutorial, because you probably read the title of this video and you would like to know how I got this big, bold, beach girl vibes with highlights. You know, it's giving summer vibes. It's giving very much talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all, okay? But enough of the RBF, enough of the post post, sis. Don't be shy to crack you a little smile, okay? But let me get you guys filled in on the specs of this hair. So this hair was provided to me by Ali Pearl Hair. This is their 13 by 4 HD Lace Body Wave Hair in 26 inches. Damn, it's been so long since I said that. Like, I really miss doing these hair tutorials for y'all. But y'all, these hair companies are really paying attention to our complaints because not too long ago, I was complaining about the tiny parting spaces that we get when we get these frontals. I'm really able to get the full four inches on the sides now. Can you imagine? But of course, the box came with a bunch of goodies. You know, nothing new. So this tutorial, we're basically just going to be focusing on the highlights today. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the other details like bleaching the knots yeah i had to do that one off camera like i can't it's you know y'all get the gist but yeah it's going to be so much easier now to get this wig to look like scalp now that the knots are fully bleached and to get into the highlights the star of this video you'll be needing some gloves you know to protect your little phalanges i learned that one in human anatomy and i can't let my tuition money go to waste okay i gotta at least say some of the terms once or twice but you'll need a brush of course some bw2 bleach powder you're gonna need some foil and lastly some 40 volume developer. Quick little life hack, I use the old bleach powder containers as mixing bowls nowadays and I'm just adding a few scoops of that bleach powder into the bowl. I think I did maybe about like six or seven, maybe five or six total and I just went ahead and poured in that developer. To be fair, I didn't want the consistency to be too runny. I just feel like when you add too much developer, the strength of the powder is a little bit weakened and I wanted to get this bleach mix to really lift the color of the hair as much as possible. I'm not sure if that makes sense but it's just my thought process on that. Now that our bleach mix is all mixed up, this is the thickness that I really like to go for and for the hair i'm just starting by sectioning off that front section from the rest of the hair and i'm just tying that thing up for now i created four sections in the back to make the highlighting process a little bit easier and in the front i'm bringing out that frontmost piece that i'm going to add like the streaks and everything to and i'm just putting the rest of the hair into two sections so in total we have about seven sections four in the back two on the sides and one in the very front now from this point forward babes everything is straight vibes as in there's no technique there's literally nothing at all. I'm starting by adding that bleach to the front first so that it can have the longest time to lighten because I want that frontmost piece to be the lightest. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to fold up the foil and start working on the back. I'm starting at the bottom section. You know, I'm starting off with doing basket weaving motions to kind of separate the hair and differentiate which one I'll be applying bleach mix to. And then again, I'm just slapping the bleach on there. Like nothing new, you know, nothing too fancy. There's no technique. Just slap it on there and make sure you're really coating that hair as much as possible so that you can really lighten up that hair. And with the rest of the rows I just keep repeating the same steps and for anybody who doesn't know or maybe you're a little curious the foil just allows the bleach to process a lot better by making sure that the bleach mix one doesn't dry up and two it keeps that heat really locked in so that the hair can lighten a lot better the foil also kind of aids in giving you the ultimate control with making sure that the bleach sections are completely separate from the rest of the hair for this look I really wanted a lot of black bits in the back sections but when I come over to the front I kind of wanted more lighter parts in the front than I did in the back so I'm just achieving that by adding more highlighted streaks in the front and to do that i'm kind of making like smaller parting sections if that makes sense again everything is very very repetitive you know i'm just going row by row section by section at this point y'all definitely get the gist okay So about 30 minutes later, it's all lifted very well and you can see that right now. So I just washed everything out. I air dried it a little bit. After air drying it, because I wanted a few lighter pieces, especially those front patches, I went over some parts again with 40 volume developer, but this time not as long as I did the first time because you know we don't wanna overly process this hair. But when those pieces are done bleaching, it is now time to wash up and tone the hair. So I'm going over the entire hair first using some purple conditioner. You can use shampoo. I mean, you can use both. I just use conditioner. I coat and lathered the entire hair up with using the generic shimmer lights conditioner and I just let that baby sit in for some time about 20 minutes later I came back to wash the entire hair out first I'm using this Pantene shampoo I'm making sure that I'm getting all up in there like I'm getting the scalp I'm getting the roots the ends everything and yes I said scalp because it's definitely about to be my scalp okay then I just washed all of that out and then I conditioned it with the sister conditioner the Pantene conditioner and because I went over some pieces more than once I wanted to leave that conditioner in for a little bit longer so girl I just left that hair in in there until I remembered about her again. 
and when I did, I came back to her and I just rinsed all of that out and now we are good to go. To tone, I'm using the T14 and T15 from the Wella Toners line. I mixed each one in separate bowls using 20 volume developer. And honestly, again, like I said, straight vibes. I'm just coating the strands that were bleached. Um, I picked them out here and there as much as I can. And I coated some pieces up with T14, some of them in T15. Like I was just going back and forth, back and forth. Like no techniques at all, I promise you. And I'm pretty sure there's a much better technique for doing this, but baby, as long as I look good in the end, trust me, I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> so speaking of straight vibes, the front section um i kind of got bored like i was not about to pick each one out so i just coated half of the frontal section in t15 and the other half in t14 because girl when i said vibes like trust me so yeah i'm done adding the toner into the hair i washed that out i air dried it and this ladies and gents is what I came up with you know not too bad for my first or second time doing highlights I think it definitely could be better but I'm okay with what I came up with for right now so yeah as you guys saw in the beginning we're doing some crimps today and I have so many crimpers to choose from can you guys actually believe that I will have all of these styling tools and still buy more if that isn't a toxic trait baby I don't know what is but I chose to use this one because it was just the perfect size for me for the vibes that I was going for and this one is also good as well it's a good choice but just if you want a bit tighter crimps so yeah i sectioned off the hair in top and bottom sections and girl i don't know why but this hair was very dry after the bleaching process i'm talking like i could barely run my fingers through it this was definitely my first time experiencing something like that with ali pearl hair but i really do love their hair still but as a solution i just decided to drown the entire thing in this chi silk serum and i'm not being too serious with like drowning it by the way like a lot of y'all like to be literal sometimes but i just used a small amount and it was definitely able to get the job done i also typically wouldn't do this but because of the way the hair was feeling i thought it would have been best for me to just blow out the hair a bit using this blow dryer of course and i did it in three sections i did the bottom section and then i had two sections at the top and i just took my time with blow drying it out so that i can really get that silk factor as best as i could with this hair once that is ready it's time for us to get into the styling process and i'm not going to get too in depth with the styling and install process because i think you guys deserve to have a separate detailed video on that but let's run through the process a little bit to start, I added some of my cream foundation on both the outer and inner part of the lace. Um, this is the Ruby Kisses Body Contour Foundation, something like that. I'll leave the link down below if I can find it for you guys, but I usually just get it at the Beauty Supply. And I'm also using a very dense brush to apply that because I really want to make sure that color gets on there. And to seal everything in, I'm spraying both sides with Got To Be Glue. And I just let that dry and sit for a little bit until, again, I remember that I'm working on some hair. I know I can't be the only one who actually experiences that. But for the crimps, Crimping is very, very repetitive and very time consuming also. So babe, I would not even do that to you. We're just gonna move through this step very quickly, but of course not without giving you the details that you need to know, which may I add are very, very simple to understand. I'm taking sections, not too small, unless of course you don't value your time, but I take like medium, large sections and I just spray them down first using this Sebastian Shaper Spray. You can definitely use any other hairspray. Sometimes I would even go in with the God to be hairspray. So I promise like the hairspray doesn't matter. But yeah, as you can see, crimping is very, very very repetitive you're just going over and over and over again on the same strand until you have gotten to the very bottom and I just wanted to point out I took off a lot of the hair in the front previously had like this widow's peak thing going on and that just never flatters my face shape so I plucked a lot of that hair out and with the front crimping at first I thought I wanted high volume on the top so I went very close to the roots and later when I put the wig on I realized that that was just not flattering for me so the only thing I would change next time is just not going as close to the root as possible you feel me but no this is really when you can start seeing the beauty Beauty of the highlights you know with the crimping style like it is so beautiful to me but once I finished up the very last section I sprayed down the whole thing and I really think this played a huge role because it's almost been a week later and those crimps are still very much visible so as you can see makeup is done I put the wig on and straight off it's just not giving the vibe that I really want you know I just knew once I put it on that I wanted it to be a lot flatter on top so that it can really just flatter me a lot more but I positioned the hair properly on my head started off of course by cutting off the ear pieces by making sure that I'm cutting as close to my ear as possible so that I don't take way too much hair and lace off and as you can see this right here is perfect you cannot see my hair underneath by my ear I'm gonna go off camera and cut the entire lace off but I just wanted to show you guys the motion that I use when cutting off the lace and like I said we're not gonna go too in depth with the install because I would rather pack most of the details in another video for you guys and I'm sorry but y'all cannot tell me that this is not a good lace match like girl this is my <laughs> this is my scalp like I don't care so I pulled some of the hair on the front forward and I got 
my elastic band handy so that it can be in close proximity to me and I'll be spraying the lace down with this ORS lace spray <laughs> at this point they need to sponsor your girl because y'all see me use this literally all the time so I'm spraying a very generous amount and I'm putting that elastic band right over before the spray starts to drip down and before I tie that elastic band down I want to make sure that the hair underneath is behaving itself so I'm just pulling them forward a little bit and I tied that baby right up As you can see, the lace is giving very much scalpiana, like that lace match was absolutely perfect for me. And like I said, I wanted a bit of a flatter look. So my hot comb came in very handy with sleeking all of that up a little bit. And I just tweaked up my edges, you know, I did some light, you know, not too heavy baby hairs. And I did that by using this Eco Boost edge control again nothing new it just works so perfect for me but we're finally coming to a close lastly I'm just arranging the hair a little bit better for my own liking I'm teasing up the hair a little bit here and there so that's not giving you know like super defined Shirley Temple crimps like we're trying to get this to look as effortless as possible you know so yeah, I'm just tweaking up the crimps here and there if I really needed to and just overall getting the hair to really work well in a way that flatters me and y'all we are officially done and let me just tell you that this is the official hot girl summer look I just feel like this hairstyle is just so perfect for the summertime, but not on my block though. Texas weather is way too hot and way too humid for all of this hair. But you know, I'm definitely gonna bring it out here and there when I feel like making a true statement, you feel me? That is it for this video, you guys. I hope you babes really enjoyed this one. Go ahead and show some love down below. You know, share these tips with all of your favorite people and I will see you soon in my next video.